Hi guys, so this is just going to be a quick video, well maybe not so quick, but a video on every Xbox One controller that's been manufactured and released so far. So just to give you my criteria of how I collect them, it's only controllers that have been manufactured and left the factory in such a state. So for example the Pizza Up controller doesn't count because that's just a standard Xbox One S controller that's been sent off to a third party and then painted for the competition or whatever so it's so only controllers that have actually been manufactured and left the factory in that state so let's get started so first of all we've got the black original controller that came with the OG Xbox One which is a standard black controller. Then we've got the day one edition, which slightly differs from the black one. Obviously it's got the day one 2013 on it, but then it's also got Chrome D-pad. And then we've got the launch team. I made this edition. This was only ever given out to Microsoft employees. The actual controller is kind of a rubbery texture as well. There's no other controllers that have been made since that have made the same material. Then we've got the Titanfall controller. This is the first controller that was uh, the first limited edition controller that was um, released separately. So you could buy it as a standalone. Then we've got this one, which is China Day One. So obviously this came with the Day One edition that came out in China. So it's exactly the same as the normal English Day One, except it's obviously got China Day One on it. This one, I've never seen any other collectors with this controller. Um, it's pretty hard to get hold of. Um, there were a decent amount made, but obviously most of them reside in China. And it's not the easiest place to get anything from, to be honest. So, and we've got the first of the sort of army camouflage editions that came out. This is the first one. And we've got the white controller. So this was only ever available with the Sunset Overdrive bundle or the Master Chief Collection bundle. You couldn't actually buy it separately or anything. Then we got the Midnight Forces controller. So exactly the same pattern as the camouflage one. But it's just blue. And if we come over here. We've got the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare one. Which is quite a nice controller. It's a fair bit of detail on this paint shop. I do like the... Um, Gold D pad on it. And then we've got the first of the revised controllers, so standard black again, but this time we've got the 3.5mm jack and the bumpers can be pushed down here, which on the old controllers you can only push them down here. I never found it a problem, I always push down there anyway, so it didn't really affect me, but a lot of people were happy when these new ones came out. So we've got Covert Forces next grey black pattern and then we've got the Forza 6 controller and this is the one of the first controllers to come with the rubberized grip on the back which everyone loves including me and then we've got the Luna white controller this one's got the gold D-pad as well, it's very really nice. And again, it's got the rubberized grips and gold triggers. Very really nice control arc. And then we've got the Armed Forces controller, which you may think that looks similar to Ruby's controller. And it does, it looks similar to this. It's because they re-released the camouflage controller, renamed it to Armed Forces, but it's actually 
the new model so it's got the 3.5 millimeter jack on it whereas the previous one didn't and literally while preparing for preparing for this video i discovered something else that was new as well well not new but new to me is this one it's a normal black d-pad but the original actually has a chrome d-pad and i've literally only just noticed that exciting so next up is the halo 5 uh, master chief controller with a gold d-pad it's a really nice controller and then we've got the halo 5 agent lock controller as well which okay it's a nice one these both got these um sort of textured bits on the front as well nice little cool detail let's go back over here so then we've got the bad boy the old elite doesn't get much better than this. The Elite is the controller I use. Um, not this one, this is my collection one. I have another one. Um, yeah, it's, it's just the best controller ever made. Then we've got another white one, but this one is the one with the 3.5 millimeter jack. This one was only of a ever available with the sunset uh, not sunset um quantum break bundle could only get it with that so and next we come up to a new series which is the sort of shadow series this one's a dusk shadow so i don't know how well it's picking up but the bottom of this is sort of darker when it goes lighter towards the top and this is also the first time they included a matte d-pad and matte um, bumpers and triggers as well And then pretty much the same deal for the copper shadow. Let's get some light towards the top. And then we've got the first of the S models, so the controller S is. So this is just the standard white one. It's where I included Bluetooth in this as well. And then we've got a design labs one. So obviously this is one that I've just created myself my game table I had to import this as well because design labs has only just come out in the UK over here so this is one of the OG design labs ones and then we've got Gears of War Crimson Omen controller which is probably my favorite controller to date um, just love the red love the um, laser etched scratches that are on it as well just all round awesome controller and then we've got the JD Phoenix controller as well again it's laser etched these lines going through it's a really cool controller and then if we spin round the other side of the table we come to the Gears of War Elite controller Another awesome controller, slightly darker than that previous Crimson Omen one. I wish I bought a couple of these now because they, they said they were going to be limited edition and they really were. So you can't get these new anymore. And we've got the Sand Blue controller. This one, you can pretty much design this on Design Labs, but you can't get these blue, not starting back, um, view and menu buttons in blue or you can't get the ABX wine blue on there. And then we've got another Shadow Series 1, this time obviously a new S controller. This time they've put the dark bit on the top. And this one is really smooth as well, the actual texture of the controller. It's unlike any of the other controllers. And then we've got the military gr uh, green controller, which I really like this one. You could only get this with the um, Battlefield 1 bundle. And we've also got the Storm Grey controller, which only came in certain bundles as well. I think it was a FIFA bundle. And the Deep Blue controller. Again, another bundle controller. And we've got standard um, controller S black. 
it's normally a black one. And then we've got a red control rod. Again, similar. you can get a similar design on Design Lab Labs, but you can't get the, the buttons in the red as well. But it'd be pointless creating it on Design Labs anyway, because it'd be more expensive. So we've got a, another green one. This one is green and orange though. So it's very similar to the Battlefield 1, just military green. But it's got these orange accents underneath the thumbsticks. Which look pretty cool. Then we've got the Winter Forces controller. I believe it's the same design pattern wise as the previous sort of camouflage controllers. But obviously on the new S model. And we've got the Ocean Shadow. Which again, just like the Dawn Shadow, it's got this very fine sort of feel to it. It's very smooth. And we've got Recon Tech, which is one of the new ones. It's got this cool sort of pattern on it on the front. Apparently this is going to be a series of controllers. And this also has a grip on it as well. And then we've got the new 2017 design labs, um, so where you can get metallic finishes, so the D-pad and the triggers are metallic, and you can also get a grip now to put on the back. And then lastly, another design labs, but this one you could only get at E3 2017. You see, this is number 130, you only made a thousand of these. So it's got grips, metallic detailing as well. So that's pretty much it. That's the entire collection of every single Microsoft controller that's been released so far. And yeah, so there's apparently going to be another recon type controller coming out soon. Um, I believe it's going to be blue um, from what I've seen so far. Just gonna try and pull up a picture of it because there is a yeah. So it's a low resolution pi resolution picture, but that's apparently what it's gonna look like. That's what I found online as well. And I've also heard some rumours about the new Elite controller. It's supposed to have some lights or something on it underneath the toggle switch for the profiles so not sure what they're for maybe for maybe so you can have more than two profiles on it at once don't know but it's also supposed to have uh, the grips um, extending all the way around to the front of the controller as well so we'll have to wait and see what's going on there but that's it for now thanks for watching